is not afraid to let his style be known, but we see the Wario. Whoa. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Shoutouts to Reflex, you know, Georgia's own. And beating a, a lot of good players, too. Right. I'll be curious to see if that experience from Toy Story with Reflex is going to be enough to help with this. But he heel slides right into the chomp. I didn't realize that beat that out. That's amazing. It does. It's a huge command grab. Oh, my goodness. So does, so does the bite, clearly. Down tilt will beat it, too. Wario may have a pretty bit of a fun time with Bayonetta. See these combos. But tries to end it there with the up air. Very smart. Right. And we talked about uh, SDI in the last match with ooh, ooh, with Ryu. But now we're really going to need it here with Bayonetta. Great forward throw there. Has the bike. Has it prepped. That for he would have, If he would gotten that forward throw on that platform, that would have killed. Big damage. Big damage. Ooh. And P2 Dumpster is coming hot. Are we seeing that bike beat it out? Sitting at Super Saiyan percent right now. Big damage. <gasps> Ooh. Good weight. And that's going to be the interesting thing. If Lee throws it out too early, the startup on side B will actually cause him to whiff. That's true. Oh, and there he goes in with that dash attack. Pretty pretty solid dash attack overall, Warriors is. Causes trip. Mm -hmm. Beats out a lot of moves. Very strong. Nairs to knock him off the bike. That's very important when fighting against Warrior. You have to either have a hitbox that will reach the center of the bike or a hitbox that will hit him. There's a two ways to beat a bike. Right. I'm surprised we didn't see another smash attack right there. He waited and he had the situation that he wanted. Ooh. Fourth throw. Not enough. The bike set up. Oh, no. It doesn't go for it. Just throws it right off the side. But the back air is going to close that out. Quick 2-0 from Toy Story. Ouch. He's been hiding some things from us. <laughs> yeah, Toy Story doing really, really well that match. Blowing away Leaf, who surprisingly played that Wario. Leaf kind of infamous for his struggles with multi-day tournaments. Doesn't exactly keep a great idea, a great mentality going. We're going to see the Ryu now. All right. Leaf, a player of so many characters. And Bayonetta is a character of many, many multi-hit hitboxes. Going to be able to beat out Focus with a lot of stuff. Oh, my gosh. Straight level three Focus. But what was the punish? What was that? <laughs> I think he wanted to wait to try and get Toy Story into something real bad. Maybe get inside his head. But kind of backfired a little. Only 3%, though. Great weight from either player right now. Very patient. Good grab out of the back there, back air. Good lord. All right, and there we go. We see the start of Bayonetta's combos. Wow! And he KO'd. <laughs> <laughs> he got the aerial sweet spot. Not the easiest move to hit. Definitely not. And you know, just surprising that he was able to get out so quickly. SDI. Oh, I mean, Ian, not on, honestly. No, Ian's got incredible SDI. He's got those young, nimble fingers. <laughs> Ooh, and that multi-hit, like you were saying before. Goes for the get-up attack. Bayonet is going to tap off, like, almost offensively bad. <laughs> like, I, I've played Bayonetta sparingly, and every time I get up attack, it's a really hard punish. Gets away with it there. Dead! Wow. Off the top. Really quick, really solid. You know exactly what was up. That was less than 90 seconds. Jeez. Ugh. Oh, I that was <laughs> that was 83 seconds. <laughs> I had to laugh a little bit because Big Wig looks just like I would imagine Solaire's face looking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Toy Story thinking now. He got destroyed in game two after doing extremely well in game one, and we see the Lucina. I was wondering if we were going to see this counter pick. All right. However, However, Toy Story doesn't know this. Ian is very proficient in Mario. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. Oh, you know, one of those uh, running jokes around our scene has to do with Ian and Marth. But moving on, you know, I, th I really think Lucina is going to be pretty darn easy to combo, and she doesn't have enough multi hits to really deal with focus. So strategically... She's got Nair. She's got Down Smash. That's about it. Yeah. Down Smash you can't reliably do. Some hits of Dancing Blade are, are multi-hit. Correct, correct. And you can probably get both go into multiple hits of Dancing Blade to break yeah, it. Yeah, perhaps. Not quite sure. I haven't seen that interaction before. But anyway, you look at it. This looks a little rough. 
So he's doing a really good job of it right now. He's getting those fade in and out of aerials. Short hop fair, short hop bear. However, Ian is just sure you can the daylights out of the false prince. Ooh. All right. Well, oh, I think that was meant to be a perfect pivot up tilt right there. Got out the reverse dash attack instead, though. Still not going to be enough to close it out. 98% getting very close. Shoryuken is like the day-old piece of bread, but it's going to be enough right there to close it out, staleness or not. Oh, man. Ooh! Full crumple. The worst part is that was even, that was quote-unquote good spacing from Toy Story, getting the end of that and everything, and still got punished. <laughs> the baits! Wow. Holy hell, the baits! Oh. He has taken up residence inside his brain at the moment. <laughs> Someone need to charge that boy rent. Oh, but there we go. We see Toy Story with the Ian or the Leaf FC special of just stand there, wait for them to move, and then kill them. Up tilt, up tilt. No punish afterwards. Gets the fair. Oh boy! Oh boy! Good choice on the spot dodge. <laughs> you, say, you don't say. <laughs> I mean, people like me always want to try and perfect shield it. You know, we want to challenge it. You show off. <laughs> Oh, big punish whiff there. Ooh, that's a rough decision. Down smash, yep. You have to have that waiting and buffered if you're going to be pulling that trick out of your hat. Ooh, good sour spot. The fair and assure you, yep, that's all it takes. The butt hitbox, as Crescent calls it. He's so happy to see it, too. Look at him grinning. Look at him grinning. He's so proud of him. Oh, my goodness. Praise the sun, Bigwig. Oh my goodness, we'll get it to him. We'll get the message across at some point for Bigwig to uh, praise the sun. All right. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and we see the switch back to Bayonetta. That did not go as he planned, and we see Smashville here. It's going to be really interesting to see if he's going to be any better than he did last time. Ian just dismantled Le uh, uh, Pato and Toy Story after game one. All right. Ooh. Yeah, and we've seen right here. Got him in a really bad spot. Always either cornered or off the stage. I'm surprised we didn't see the dare come out with the two of them falling like that. Uh, that's a good point. It, it would definitely wouldn't have killed, but boy, oh boy, is that a rough way to start a match. Just on your heels the entire time. Right. And Bayonetta known for those stilettos, too. <laughs> Whoa, back air. Please let me get this Jazer to death. Oh. No. Unfortunate. Very close, but not quite able to get it. Wow. And read it. Read a falling up air. What a, what a strange thing. So nice of Toy Story to open up a library while he's here in North Carolina. <laughs> Hard reads. Now, you know what I'd like to see a lot more from Toy Story? And this is kind of the, the obvious point, but I'd, I'd like to see more uppies. Yeah. yeah. It's frame four out of shield. Like, it's it's hella good. We might see a kill Ooh, off the top wow. here. And we do. Confirms the up air. It's actually harder to confirm the up air out of the side B than the up B, but Toy Story able to get it right there. Nice. It's curious to see if maybe Leaf FC was SCIing down to try and get out, and that's what caused him to get hit, popped up, and right directly back into Perhaps. it. Perhaps. Yeah, it was a little bit odd. But here we see him with a slight lead yet again. Oh, boy. All right, missing the up tilt right there. Gets the up air, but is not able to confirm off of it. That's super important to get very long bail strings is to get that up tilt up air, that up tilt in air. All very, very important. Toy Story, you leaning back a little bit neutral here, taking the foot off the gas. This is bad. Leaf FC SDI is up that time. You see him getting away out of the side beam. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, and good, good awareness of that platform, making it safe. He's got to be very careful right now. This is one witch time away from death. Oh, and there Sophia it is. of the devil. But he didn't charge it. That's not going to kill. No. No, off the top, just barely. Ooh, and now we're at 2-2. Two, two. Mm. Well, yeah, well, we saw we, we saw a couple of uppies there towards the end. 
Uh, still not quite what I was talking about. You know, you get to see a lot of those um, neutral up Bs and, and defensive up Bs for people like Salem. And they net you a ton of reward, like you were saying, frame four. So you can counter a lot of moves with a big hitbox. I'd like to see a little bit more of that. Is Ian going to switch is the question. I kind of doubt it. He's been doing so well in most of the matches with Ryu. Um, and I don't think it was any sort of adaptation problem, you know. I think that Toy Story more just caught up rather than overtook him. Alright, looks like they've talked about it. And we're going Ryu Bayonetta on uh, Dreamland. The pivotal game five. One stays, one goes home. And first percentage goes to uh, Lee, or, whew, Toy Story. Now we see the opposite. Toy Story with this immense pressure right now, maintaining stage control. Whiffs the up air. I think he wanted to pivot. Ian finally getting his first hits in. Leaf FC confirming for 12%, but Toy Story not allowing him any room to breathe. Yeah, Toy Story changing up the playstyle just a little bit. We saw a little bit of bullet camping. <laughs> Ooh, but unsuccessful. He's got to be very careful. Bayonetta does have a lot of cooldown off a of whiffed grab, but he's got to make sure that he does not get witch timed. Ooh, he thought he was going to get the roll behind. It's the bat within. This, these short hop nares from Toy Story have been so well spaced so far. Oh, you're absolutely right. He's been he's been playing a little bit more defensively, a lot more patiently, and it's been paying off. You see the up, and we finally see the upbeat that you asked for. Too. Right. He is one up tilt away from death right now. Either of those could have been witch timed. Ian has to, Leaf FC has to play carefully right now. Ooh. Gets to Shoryu, but not the sweet spot. And now we oh see my Oh, Shoryu's out of it! Oh my gosh. I saw that Shoryu coming, and I was like, wait a second. Was that what caused the witch time? And then I realized it wasn't. Oh, wow, what a moment. One Shoryu from death right now. Patient walks, rolls, though. Ooh, pokes him from underneath the stage. Beats out the down smash, too. We saw the portal being opened up. <laughs> Missed input. No punish. Ooh, running straight in, trying to get that dash attack. Dash attack kind of working like a uh, easier to input Shoryuken. But, of course, doing uh, much less knockback. Ooh, and gets the up air. Ian looking back. Crescent signaling for the Shoryu. He's going to duck under that with that side B, though. Know. Ooh. Ian is struggling right now. He's trying to time it with the drop shield. You've got to stop throwing it out. I'm catching the landing. This is bad. This is really bad. He's got the jump. All right, and 80% on Leaf. Wow, and there it is. 86%. This is when Ryu starts to get dangerous, though. Tor Story is two or three strings away from being in kill percents. He has to confirm this kill. He's going to focus through the first hit in air there. Gets the fair. Ooh, he's going to have to Tatsu. He's got no jump. He's got no jump. Ooh, weird, weird decision by Toy Story. Nice little combo. Good focus. This is very, very dangerous right now. Toy Story is now about 10% away from dying. <gasps> no, he drops Wait, it! Wait, he gives it back, though! And he, he's gonna oh, do it! So close. Toy Story, his heart has to be beating out of his chest right now. No witch time. He's gotta be so careful. Oh, that was so close. 95 to 126. Wow! Here. Backer's gonna close it out! Leaf FC! Double eliminated! Back-to-back back back losses! Oof. We expect